Today on my channel, I'm sharing my Australia travel vlog, all the tours we took in Cairns, Australia, that's bound to make your trip down under absolutely unforgettable. Cairns, Australia was absolutely incredible and we flew through Sydney and stayed with my family for one day and then headed here which was about a three hour flight from Sydney to Cairns and this is our Airbnb it was called Harbour Lights directly across from the Hilton and we were staying right by the marina so we could walk down to these beautiful restaurants and there was even a public lagoon which you can see across the way right here that is free and Families and kids were absolutely loving it. So it's a great free option right here in the city. On our second day, we took a boat day on Reef Experience, which was this boat that had all of your gear, all of your guides, even marine biologists to help explain all of the marine life that you're going to see. And I went scuba diving while Samantha opted for snorkeling. Check it out. Samantha and I are getting ready for our underwater adventure. Scuba diving for me. Snorkeling. For on me. the water adventure for Samantha. Snorkeling over yeah. the Great Barrier Reef. That's right. And what are we going to see today? Sea turtles, clownfish. Wish us luck. We're going to go. This is our first. Stop. Is this our first wonder of the world together? I think it is. Yo, it's happening. As you can see, the marine life and the coral reefs were absolutely beautiful. The videos don't even do them justice because the colors don't show up the way that you see them in real life because of filming underwater. But this was such a good tour. Definitely recommend. The crew were amazing. The chef was amazing. We had a great lunch on board. And obviously, look at the water. I mean, 10 out of 10. We also got some photos. They show them to you afterwards. And there's a professional photographer that goes down on the dives. And I mean, check this out. Good morning from Australia. I am in Cannes, Australia right now. And yesterday we went diving on the Great Barrier Reef and took a boat day and tour out. And it was absolutely incredible. And one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had. On the second dive spot, we were at Twin Peaks. And as I was in the middle of the dive, a sea turtle swims over my shoulder and I was able to swim with it for a few minutes. But I saw so many things. We saw volatile lionfish, parrotfish, clownfish and sea anemones, a small shark, and so much more. And the reef was so vibrant. So I would highly recommend taking a trip here. As you can see in the background, it's one of the most tropical and gorgeous places I've ever been. There's conures and cockatoos hanging out in the trees behind me. And we are headed to the Daintree Rainforest today. We're gonna to be taking a train there and then a cable car. And there's all sorts of little excursions you can take as well once you're up there. So we can't wait to see that. We'll be going out on another boat trip on Thursday to take some more dives out on the Great Barrier Reef. But this so far has been one of the most magical locations and destinations I've ever been. And checking the Great Barrier Reef off my bucket list especially as a science teacher, is one of the most exciting things I have ever done and something I will never forget. And also some things to do. You will also notice one and two are the train station and also the Skyrail terminal, very close together. Number 10 is the riverboat cruise. So if anybody's wishing to do that, they have been spotting casamorries on the banks, uh, freshwater crocodiles and such. 
Samantha and I are about to take the train up to Karanda in the rainforest, and we heard there are koala bears here. And kangaroos. And kangaroos. And wallabies. And maybe crocodiles. And Lots butterflies. Of Lots of birds. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh, oh my. my. What was nice about Outback Tours is they picked us up from our hotel. They dropped us off at the scenic railway. They also told us about the ability to upgrade to gold class, which meant that you got drinks and food. And it literally reminded us of Harry Potter, the Hogwarts Express, and it was so cool. So definitely recommend that. And the view and scenery along the way was just absolutely stunning. And I love to listen to the story of how this railway was built and its history. The train ride was about an hour and a half with the stops to look at the scenery and then once you arrive in Karanda, there's all sorts of things like a river cruise, butterfly gardens, koala gardens, which we knew we had to do, and then a lot of great stuff that you could choose from once you were there. Here at Koala Gardens, we were also able to hold Paul and get our photograph made with him, this koala, and dreams came true that day. After a few hours up in Karanda and lunch, we headed back down on the Sky Rail, where we would be picked up by the Outback Tour Bus. Samantha and I are on the Sky Rail, and we are headed back from Karanda, aka down. Satan's Lair. <laughs> And we had lunch at the Rainforest Cafe. It's not like the one in Nashville. Rainforest View. Rainforest View. It said there was air conditioning, but by air conditioning, they actually meant there was a fan uh, hanging from the ceiling. Mm -hmm. But y'all, check out this view. Sam, you look like you're holding on for dear life. But I you am... know if we fall that that's not gonna do anything. Yep, but you know what? It makes me feel better. Why is this? Our next tour was on Ocean Freedom, which was another boat day out on the Great Barrier Reef, scuba diving and snorkeling. And we actually ran into a local who recommended this highly, said that the locations for diving and snorkeling were a lot of places other boats didn't go. And I would definitely say that was very true. And the stuff that we saw was absolutely incredible. And I'm gonna show you some more footage of it here. But this boat and the crew, 10 out of 10, they're on TripAdvisor, you can look it up, and such a great time. All right, so Sam, update on your first snorkel. I saw a sea turtle. I saw two, and y'all, this time on the GoPro, I didn't have it in time lapse. So, fingers crossed, this video is proof, and we hung out with it for a while. You also saw giant clams. Giant clams, like bigger than a human. Clownfish, I saw a bunch of triggerfish, like yeah. huge triggerfish. Parrotfish? 
so we are on Ocean Freedom. You know, this boat is incredible and great diving spots today. So, you ready for number two? On our last day, Sam and I went down to the marina and bought ferry tickets to the Green Island for about $96 a piece. And we decided we just wanted to relax at the beach for the day, but you could literally scuba dive, snorkel, do all the things once you got there. And the water, everything was absolutely beautiful. Samantha and I are here at the Green Island. We took the ferry over and you can also include snorkel gear. You can choose a glass bottom boat. They have scuba do scuba do they have Walk scuba the, the regular all sorts of excursions and also you can book nights to stay over here because there is a hotel so there's also a pool and a bar you can rent beach chairs and the view is phenomenal so we are spending our last day in Cannes having a beach day and the ferry goes back at 4 30 p.m so it's like three options over and then a trip back so this is where we are spending our last day in the sun. Oh my gosh, Sam. There is a stingray oh my right here. Don't look. <sighs> Cairns was an absolute dream. And this view and this sunset, I will hold on to for forever from scuba diving on the Great Barrier Reef to seeing my family in Sydney and climbing the bridge with friends. It's just absolutely bucket list worthy. I would go back in a heartbeat and I wish I had more footage to share with you, but I hope you enjoyed this vlog of Australia because I absolutely had a blast doing it. Until next time, happy teaching and I'll see you in the classroom.